The establishment of AIMS Ghana was actually conjured by Neil Tuck, a South African scientist who met with my brother and colleague and friend, Professor Alote Francis, years ago. And they decided that you know, we need really highly qualified African mathematicians because people forget that mathematics literally underpins all our activities, be it in the arts or in the sciences. AIMS Ghana was established in 2012 as the third center of excellence under the framework of the Africa Institute of Mathematical Science, Next Einstein Initiative. The idea is to gather the brightest students from across Africa under one roof and bring the best lecturers from all over the world to teach them, interacting in a 24-7 learning environment. We currently have a number of programs within the training, research and public engagement. For the training, we have the MSc in Mathematical Sciences program, which we refer to as our regular master's program. We also have the African Masters for Machine Intelligence program, which is arguably the best training in AI in the world. And we have MPhil programs and PhD programs in the mathematical sciences. Our research focus on stochastic analysis and applications, and also algebra and quantum geometry. And at Abe's, we aim to do cutting-edge research which produces breakthrough discoveries. My experience at AIMS so far has been great and wonderful. AIMS has shaped me to become a problem solver and a critical thinker. Here at AIMS, it is a 24-hour learning environment and you have the opportunity to research on something that you really like. Once you put your passion on it, you are able, and with the support of tutors and lecturers, you are able to deliver something authentic, something original. And that is actually what AIMS is about, delivering clean, proper work. My scholarship with ESMT it is a five-week program that helps you to acquire business analytics skills. So with that program, actually they teach you business skills and how to deal when you are in the industry, whether it's to become a data analyst or to become maybe a banker. So they teach you how to actually manipulate not only the data, but also how to maybe apply the programming skill, but in the industry context. My name is Felix Akwesitu for class of 2021 MS student. IMS is a very educative environment. IMS has been life transforming one to me. After my time at IMS, I would love to be a mathematical physicist, being a mentor to Ghanaians and Africa as a whole, because that's a hallmark of IMS, and also to help them also develop the skill to also take mathematics to a higher level to advance our country and also the continent as a whole. So building on my MSc and the ESMT scholarship, I hope to use my MPhil to research in the field of stochastic analysis. Stochastic analysis is, let's say, a mathematical way of modeling, let's say, stock prices in the market. So I'm actually currently researching on that field that we call optimal control theory. So with a concept like this, I am able to use the mathematical part of it in order to model stock exchanges in the company or maybe model the dynamic of interest rate in the market. So that is basically what I am doing with my work in stochastic analysis. AIMS has been very fortunate because the Canadian government, our Ministry of Education, has been extremely instrumental in promoting AIMS. AIMS Ghana and UNESCO have a very good relationship. The UNESCO Commission is the government agency that liaises between UNESCO and Ghana. Our primary aim is to ensure that the ideals of UNESCO are fostered here in Ghana. And to that end, we work with all the agencies and institutions that work within UNESCO's areas of competence. You know that education, natural sciences are two of these areas. And because AIMS combines both, 
it was a natural relationship. Professor Aloti, God rest his soul, through the Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences and also with his relationship with UNESCO, being an expert in his field, meant that we knew right at the inception what AIMS was trying to do. And we followed keenly their success as they grew from strength to strength. When in 2015, 2016, the idea was first mooted for AIMS to become a UNESCO Category 2 uh, Center of Excellence, it seemed like a natural next step. It wasn't difficult for us to recommend to the government to back AIMS in this endeavor. We also continue with our liaison role between AIMS and the government of Ghana. It's been a very cordial um, relationship, a mother and daughter relationship. We have gotten AIMS off its feet uh, by providing resources from staff to setting them up in this category. So resources in terms of providing for accommodation, facilities to set them up, to put them in the right perspective as a Category 2 Institute. As a Category 2 Centre of Excellence, AIMS has only just started. In meetings, we know AIMS has great plans uh, to support the government of Ghana to ensure that STEM education, in particular for girls, works in the country. We are also looking at even the possibility of UNESCO chairs and for organizing programs for Africa in Ghana through AIMS. In addition to that, Google, Facebook, the Humboldt Foundation has been supporting us. And we are hoping that in the future, we will be able to get some more uh, support coming particularly from the private sector to help us produce the quality of people that they are going to need to support their development programs. We've graduated over 300 students and our alumni are all over the world. One of the key uh, problems that we have been able to solve is the lack of lecturers within certain universities in Africa. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our alumni are now back to African universities teaching, which is very important. To mention a few, Seth Crunchy is one of our alumni and after him, he went to Perimeter Institute into the Perimeter Scholars Program, which is one of the best programs in the world. I can also mention Angela Tabiri and Sofiat Olao Sibikan. They both finished their PVs in University of Glasgow Angela is back here at Ames Ghana and doing amazingly well here. And Sufiat is also finished a PhD and currently a lecturer in the University of Glasgow. Some of the companies within which our students who went through this program are working include IT companies, financial institutions, and insurance companies. Over the years, we have seen a very high failure rate in mathematics at the high school level. And one of the main challenges has been the teaching. So the aim of the AIMS MSc Mathematical Sciences for Teachers program is to provide current teachers in mathematics with a deep understanding of the mathematical foundations relating to the high school curriculum and also to build their capacity that will allow them to bring innovatively their newfound knowledge into the classroom. And we hope that in the next five to 10 years, we will train over 500 teachers within this program, which will impact the high school teaching of mathematics and hope to reduce the failure rate significantly. We believe that no one should be excluded from science because of culture, sex, or race. The aim of the Girls in Mathematical Sciences program is to encourage young women to enter science. It is the expectation of government that the Girls in Mathematical Sciences program will offer unlimited opportunities to young girls from all parts of the country, for this is bound to permanently alter perspectives 
about the role of girls in mathematical education within and beyond the classroom. Personally, as a female, I am excited. I have said that I wish I had someone take an interest in my mathematical studies and not for me to fall into that trap of thinking, well, math is generally difficult, especially for females. As the government has said, basic STEM is now a necessity. It is important for us to get our young people to love the sciences right from the onset. You would realize that the popular science and math quiz program in Ghana hasn't had a female school win ever since its inception. It is very surprising. We know we have a lot of good girl schools. It's one of the indicators that we need to do more for our females. And so when Ames Ghana brought up this idea, we just knew that it would be one of the steps that would help our females break that thought that girls cannot do math and do it very well. We are proud to be working with Ames, the government of Ghana, and other partners to harness the talent of African women. Women are critical thinkers, innovators, and scientists. They will lead Africa into the next century. I am convinced of it. The goal is to encourage them, mentor them, support them, supercharge them, and expose them to fundamental ideas in the mathematical sciences and revolutionary ideas that will enable them to, 10 years from now, lead major discoveries in science. Well, 10 years from now, I would like to see Ames become a preeminent institution in the production of the human capacity we need to underpin all our developmental activities. I see them as a light shining, not only for West Africa, but as a whole world. I see Ames Ghana as the world's foremost center for training and fundamental research in the mathematical sciences, which has trained over a thousand students who are leading the transformation of Africa based on the knowledge and training that they have acquired from Ames. And of course, I believe that 10 years from now, we would have produced the next Einstein, who will possibly be a female. And I will not be surprised to see an alumni who is a president in Africa 10 years from now. The leadership of Ames Global Secretariat is more than ever committed to working with Ames Ghana to fulfill its mission in promoting mathematics and science in Ghana while training talented students and teachers to help build a resilient workforce. Because at Ames here, they don't joke. If you are here and you're playing, you will not make it. So here at Ames, once you come, you must have the mindset of a winner. Once you have the mindset of a winner, you are ready to put that pressure on yourself in order to work hard enough to produce good results. So this is basically what Ames is all about, hard work and persistence. <laughs>